All right, this is off our master bedroom. This is a dressing area. It had a small uh, built-in place, kind of like where you could uh, sit down at a stool and do makeup and things, and it had a mirror. And uh, But uh, the cabinets weren't very nice. They were really cheap. These are nice. They've got uh, a little bit of rope wood treatment there. And Susie went instead of oil rub bronze, she went with brushed nickel. The mirror came framed, but it's framed in the same pattern. And again, the, the more high-end light. And this is all freshly painted in the stenciling, stencil border. Not stenciled, it's uh, wallpaper. It was touched up a bit. And uh, all the trim was painted. We were fortunate we had a little bit of oil-based trim paint left over from years ago and she was able to reconstitute it and and uh, make it work but uh, again the drawers and all these cabinets the drawers you just push them and they close themselves that's kinda nice and Susie picked out her knobs and pulls and uh, then you come into the bathroom and on the bathroom this is the major renovation this was a a regular swinging door now it's a a uh, slider which really helps in such a small space the uh, there was a single sink with, with a cabinet with a big cabinet on top of another one and uh, this is now a, a more compact double sink with a smaller cabinet with crown molding on top and again uh, high-end lighting the mirror again was cut and then framed in the same stuff as the same accents as the wood was but Susie's got lots of cabinet space here lots of room to do everything but the big change instead of a tub there's now a step-in shower so the tile on the floor is a little bit different than the tile in the shower. She just wanted to want it to be set off a bit. And her Cambria top is a much wider pattern, but it really goes well with the with the uh, paint. It's fresh paint everywhere, and that's a uh, uh, kind of a, a pale yellow, but it really looks good. And then. Like I say, the, the whole area was redone and the tub taken out and this shower put in. It's got a window. It's got a uh, glass door, heavy glass door. It's a real positive close. It's got a threshold with the uh, same Cambria as the uh, sink top. Nice done uh, floor pan in a smaller tile and then wall tile and then she went with a kind of a crushed glass eye catcher and again it goes all the way up to the ceiling it's got a vapor light it's got the wand shower she went with just a single uh, ledge on hers because she had a bench put in and that bench is topped with the same Cambria and so you, you step in and you've got the, the window looking out you've got the door looking out there is a, a window treatment that goes on that top of that uh, window that looks out into the backyard but that uh, needed some sewing work and that's being done before we put it back up again and this is looking out through the window and it's not a big, huge, huge shower, but it's big enough. And, and um, just really, I think it's going to make a big difference, especially as we get older. And we did have one grab bar put in, and we have another one, but we didn't have it installed. Couldn't figure out where to put it. That's the one thing that ran out of wall space pretty quick here. It's such a small space. And uh, had to get creative with washcloth hangers and towel racks and things like that but uh, Susie's tried it out a couple of times already it just it was just finished it's just a couple of days in use now 
and uh, she really likes it. I do too. And if that wasn't snazzy enough, we have rheostats on the on the lights so you can have mood lighting in your bathroom. I don't know whose idea that was. It wasn't mine. I don't think it was Susie's either. You can do the same thing on that vapor light. You can dim it. And they're just sliders right next to the wall switch. But anyway, it's kind of cute. So that's it. That is the sum total of the spare bathroom and dressing area renovation. And uh, still got a few things to put away, but we'll get to it kind of reconfiguring some things. But it makes a nice, uh, nice passageway out into the the master bedroom which has got fresh paint on all the walls and trim and everything and the same out into the hall that goes down to the guest room and the master bath alrighty that's it